Um, for those who don't know, uh, there was a mass shooting recently that was perpetrated, as far as we can tell, by a trans man by the name of um, Aiden, I believe. And uh, if you're if you're wondering why does it matter that the shooter was trans, well, of course it doesn't really matter that the shooter was trans. There have on record in the last like five years only been uh, three out of the nearly 3,000 mass shootings in America. Only three of them um, have been charitably uh, understood to be trans. But of course, every single right wing media outlet is obsessing over the fact um, that uh, the shooter was trans. Um, this is a, uh, a tactic as old as time. Um, they do this every single time. Do you guys, uh, some of you are too young to remember 9-11. Uh, um, but 9-11, of course, being a giant terrorist attack that was perpetrated by a, by a couple of Muslim individuals, um, led to a increase in hate uh, towards Muslim Americans that was basically unprecedented. It was insane. And not only that, but it also led to a general persecution of Americans um, in general under the guise of anti-terrorism laws. In fact, part of the reason why we live in such a miserable police state right now is specifically because um, of what happened after 9-11, okay? Um, even though that, that uh, the 9-11 uh, attacks were perpetrated by people who were Muslims, that does not mean that Muslims are bad people, that Islamic faith in and of itself is a, is a, a flawed or terroristic faith. Uh, even if you have critiques of, uh, of, of religions like Islam, which, don't get me wrong, I'm critical of religion all the time, but that doesn't make every Muslim a terrorist. But people acted like it did, and we're seeing that again. We're seeing right-wingers um, uh, basically jump on board with this messaging and say, oh yeah, despite the fact that, that on a pure level of statistics, a vast majority uh, of, of shootings are, are, uh, are perpetrated by uh, people with um, severely hierarchical, uh, violent uh, 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 worldviews, generally right-wing worldviews, uh, oh, it must be the trans people because, well, a trans person did this one, right? Uh, just remember, they are full of shit. Okay, let me just be 100% clear about that. They are, it is propaganda, and it will never be anything but propaganda. And you just have, you, you're going to have to learn together, okay? With me right now, you're going to have to learn that uh, this type of propaganda will always exist, okay? We uh, are a group that is not liked by a very large political faction, okay? Now, um, the vast majority of people do not have any problems with trans people. But uh, it is an unfortunate reality that there is going to be propaganda weaponized against trans people for the rest of all of our lives, okay? And um, that is not to say that, that, like, this is a, it's a horrible, horrible thing that this is true. But also, I'm, what I'm trying to get at here, what I'm trying to illustrate here, is that we have to become resilient towards it. We have to be confident in who we are. We have to be confident in our community. And most of all, we have to be confident in the truth, because the truth will win in the end, um, especially if we are strong in it and if we are insistent in the truth. No matter how many people are lying at you, okay? No matter how many times they repeat literally made up statistics uh, uh, or, or lies, uh, no matter how many times they, they repeat lies to your face, you have to be confident in yourself, in your community, and in the truth, okay? We must persist against this, and secondly, you do not have to feel responsible to, to constantly remain plugged into streams of propaganda. Places like Twitter, places like Facebook, it is very easy to find yourself basically dunked under a perpetual stream of propaganda, okay? You do not have to subject yourself to that, uh, especially if you are trans. If you are trans, you are allowed to just be confident in your beliefs, okay? You really truly are. You are allowed to say, I am not going to subject myself to this at all hours of the day, every single day, as these demented liars uh, uh, spread propaganda about me and mine. You do not have to subject yourself to it. You can uh, simply giga chad your way through and say, no, I know the truth. Uh, I will present the truth when it is relevant for me. But not everyone is needs to be engaged constantly in a battle against literal, sometimes literal bots, okay? Like, uh, like the right wing, okay, 
they've been doing this forever, okay? Uh, back in back around 9-11, when 9-11 happened, every single talk radio station, every single newspaper in America was blasting Islamophobia out, okay? Totally unjust Islamophobia. And peaceful Muslims who did not have anything to do with the 9-11 attacks uh, had to deal with that all the time. And it is important that in the big picture that we push back and we fight against these things. But the average everyday person does not have to subject themselves to it on a constant basis. The design of these types of, uh, of propaganda is to wear you down and tire you out. You can simply say no. And uh, trust me, there are plenty of people who are currently engaged in the battle against misinformation. Um, every single individual little person does not have to be involved in that, okay? Um, uh, just, just remember that uh, the internet is only the latest in a mass media broadcast. That this has been done many, many times in the past, okay? Um, and that you can survive it, we can survive it together, and we can fight against it but that you are not responsible for listening to every single radio station and every single piece of trash propaganda that's put out. Uh, uh, in, in After 9-11 and leading up to the Iraq war, even the liberal news media was heavily involved in pushing blatant misinformation, sometimes outright lies. Don't forget that even the CNNs and the MSNBCs pushed pushed explicit State Department lies about the existence of weapons of mass destruction, uh, which was propaganda. And just because they are major mainstream medias doesn't mean that they don't lie, doesn't mean that they're not wrong. You have to find ways to, to sort out the truth and to hold to those truths. That doesn't mean uh, being blind to other information. It just means that you have to learn to hear the signal, okay? And that's not just a demon mama meme, okay? Hearing the signal goes far beyond. You have to learn to tune out the bull, okay? Atheist Mando says, I'm tired of being forced to validate my identity. It has gotten to the point, sorry. It has gotten to the point where I look at the, conf at the confederate and goes, I don't have to argue for my own validity to you. I'm going to wear my pride pin to work now because of this. You do not have to validate yourself to anyone. We can be confident. You can uh, just know that, for for example, for trans people, for uh, gay people out there, you have spent more time thinking about your identity than any of the propagandists, okay? Your truth is more strongly refined than any of theirs, okay? These people don't know your personal situation. You have sorted these things out, and it is okay to be confident in that. This is not to say that, that nobody should ever have self-doubt, ever. Obviously, I don't believe in dogmatic beliefs, but these are propagandists. They are pr pushing a message that does, not, that does not pertain to you, and you are okay to simply say, shut up. You are okay to simply tune it out, to block it, to not engage with it, okay? We live in a particularly loud period of time, okay? The age of noise, and it's important to be able to tune into the signal, okay? That's what I'm going to say on that. Uh, 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 this isn't the first time this has happened, and we must learn together to be resilient uh, to uh, propaganda as a community and as individuals. We have to learn to be strong and to be confident in our ideas and who we are, especially when it comes to dealing with people like this. Because you have to remember, the, the Christians in this country are so dogmatic, it's hard to even believe. Okay, I'm telling you, uh, Christians in the United States of America are beyond dogmatic. They don't care about the truth at all. They don't even try to engage in the truth.